This here is Big Eyed Tuna, and what you need to make the best sushi you've ever had in your life is one of these. First step and most important step of all is make sure you're cooking sushi rice and follow the directions on the back. While our rice is cooking, let's prepare our tuna. Thin slices, then take your thin slice, slice that into thin slices, turn it sideways, more thin slices. Now you got your perfect little tuna chunks. Now grab all your little tuna chunks and throw them in a bowl. Now it's time to make our wasabi. This is an actual wasabi root. That's what it looks like before they turn it into the real stuff. But now let's turn this into our paste. This here is dried shark skin and that's what we grind it on. Now you might notice that that looks nothing like the wasabi you're used to at the restaurant. It also doesn't taste like it at all. It's not nearly as spicy. It's just really fresh and refreshing. So. Let's keep making this. Now it's time to put our sauce into our tuna. We're gonna start out with mayonnaise. If you got Japanese mayonnaise, we'll use that. I don't, so I'm using this. Next step is sriracha. And our crunchy danos. That's the black top. Get that mixed in together. That's exactly why I said be easy on the mayonnaise, because it's really easy to overdo it if you're not paying attention. That's about borderline too much. Take your rice, put it in a smaller Pyrex container, get it evened out the best that you can, turn it upside down, and watch it release. After you get your rice cut up into little squares, you just simply place them in your air fryer. 400 degrees for maybe 10 minutes. While that's cooking, let's get our avocado ready. Simply gonna score the avocado, goop it out, then we mash it with a fork. All right, now they're done, now you got crispy little rice cakes. Now it's time to construct these things. We're going in with avocado first. Next step is your tuna. Last step, get your fresh wasabi. All right, it's time to eat, and this is how we're gonna finish it off. Get your soy sauce and drizzle it right around the bottoms. Then we're gonna take the Dano's Crunchy and top it off one last time. Now there's only one thing left to do, and that's yum yum, get me some. Oh wow, the crunch. One of the best things you'll ever put in your mouth, right there. If you love sushi, this is unbelievable. I gotta get some of this wasabi though. Super fresh tasting, not super spicy like the wasabi you're used to. That's amazing. Leave a like, leave a comment, hit that follow button. We'll see you next time. Keep sprinkling. Mm.